आदमिल करी या वी कैन स्टार्ट मा Okay. Anyway, good evening and namaskaram to everybody. And it's a pleasure to have you all back for the second session. So today we have uh, Dr. Meenakshi Ravi, like last time, and also she has got her own uh, student and associate from her own center, uh, Rashmi. And uh, first, we will really hear for, from Dr. Meenakshi first about uh, forms of music and the elements. And then followed by Rashmi will really take on music as an art and science. Just to give a brief about Rashmi, um, her name is Rashmi Itiraju, and she has done MS in uh, psychotherapy and counseling. And she's a certified uh, music therapist. And she's trained in Carnatic classical vocal since her childhood. Apart from that, she has also got trained in light music, folk music, playback singing. And of course, for a short stint, she was in software company and she has got a very high level of passion for music as well as compassion and empathy for uh, really helping the needy and, uh, you know, the physically, uh, you know, uh, who needs more um, care. So she has taken on really becoming a trained uh, music therapist under the able guidance of Dr. Meenakshi Ravi. And then she has been training children and differently abled adults also with uh, um, as a music therapist last 13 years. So we have a lot to uh, hear from her and we will really see how it's going to help us so that we can help others as well. And she has been bestowed with uh, awards mm -hmm. and uh, uh, which includes uh, primarily Bhumika Award and then Nada Award of Excellence and uh, Mira Music Therapy Excellence Award. So uh, without taking more time, I would like to really ask Dr. Meenakshi Ravi to start the session and let's listen her sweet voice to start with and then get going with the session. Thank you so much. Sujata, mm -hmm. I have lost, um, you need to uh, let me in. I have rejoined in the system. Oh, NG Ravi? Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. Uncle, you are on mute. Yeah. Yes. Today I am going to take class on behalf of uh, Dr. Meenakshi Ravi. Oh. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I like it. Hello? You are able to hear me? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Do you need the PowerPoint presentation now? Yeah, you can start actually. Yeah. I'll start. Oh. 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 Gajananam Bhot Ganadi Sevitam 
कपित्थ जम्बू फल सार भक्षित उमासुत शोक विनाश कारण नमा विघ्नेश्वर पाद पंकज मलासुधा कुंभ विबोध मुद्रा विद्या विराजत करवारी जाता अपुण्य सुधाबुराशि श्री शारदाबा प्रणतस्म श्री शारदाबा प्रणतस्म गुरुब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम प्रणवाय शुद्ध ज्ञानकमूर्त निर्मलाय प्रशाताय दक्षिणामूर्त नमो नम शाश्वत शात व्योमातीत निरंजन नाद बिंदु कलातीत तस्म श्री गुरव नम प्रतृष्ठपापनाशा प्रतृष्ठफल सिद्धये प्रदक्षिण कौमीश फालचंद्रा ते नम फालचंद्रा ते नम निनंदरी निष्कला नमो नम विद्याधारे विशालक्षी शुद्ध नमो नम निराहारे निष्कला नमो नम विद्याधारे विशालक्षे शुद्ध ज्ञाने नमो नम विद्याधारे विशालक्षे शुद्ध ज्ञाने नमो नम शुद्ध ज्ञाने नमो 
Thank you, Sujata. Thank you, Balakrishnan. Thank you, all the members of Coil Trust. It's my privilege to be with all of you and to share my little knowledge and experience, whatever I have, on the subject, therapeutic elements in Carnatic music. Now, I sang the shloka. Shuddha Gnane Namo Namaha. All of us know that music is an integral part of our human life. Music is an integral part of human culture. We know that. And music has been part and parcel of our life, starting from birth to death. And all events in our life, whether they are joyful or sad, Definitely it is integrated with, it is combined with some sort of music to experience the feeling, right? And the present scenario in the modern days, all of us know that music has become more of, you know, entertainment. And of course, classical element is there, whether it is Karnataka or Hindustani, but it is more technical oriented and it is for the purpose of performing, learning as an art. Because I am interested, I am learning music. Because my parents want me to learn, I am learning music in a systematic way. I will pass my junior, senior proficiency. I will do my master's in music. I will do my PhD in music. I will perform. I will work. I will teach. So many roles. So we play, we use music for all these purposes, external purposes. For to live in the materialistic world, we have been using music. Of course, we enjoy, we meditate, we know that it has divine element. All musicians invariably, they're already reaping the fruits of music. But unfortunately, there is no awareness about the holistic health and music. I'm enjoying, I know I'm reaping the benefits, but I'm not at all aware of how I can, uh, I can connect my inner self to the what is happening to me physically when I'm singing, how I have been benefited psychologically, how I have been benefited socially, what are all the gains I'm gaining through music, and how I can become one with the God. All these, you know, aspects of, the real aspects of music, whether it is Karnataka or Hindustani, it is, it is actually it's not there, I can say. But for few individuals who have understood the concept of Indian music with holistic health, and like who have psychology background or who have spiritual background, or uh, who are who have counseling background and who know music if they only know psychology that is also not uh, you know they cannot become they cannot use music using music and the psychological skills or the counseling skills or the spiritual skills both in a person it is i mean now it's increasing i'm very happy to say that more people are becoming aware of they want to know about music and the health approach so this is a real, you know, optimistic scenario. So why should we know? What are all the therapeutic elements in music? All of us, we know we have so many exercises in Karnatak music. I will confine to Karnatak music because I'm a Karnatak vocalist and also I'm using Karnatak music as a therapeutic uh, medium for my say, individuals with special needs at Mira Music Therapy Center. What are the therapeutic elements in Carnatic music? Why we need to know? Why we need to know? Because how we can use the same exercises? What are all the available exercises in Carnatic music in different forms? How same elements can be used from therapeutic perspective 
and how they have been very effective. This definitely it will give you a crystal clear idea about are we know Sarada verses, we know Genti verses, we know Akara, Ikara, Ukara, Amkara. We are benefited because you know my quality of singing has improved a lot after I start singing the Akara, Ikara, Ukara, all the sadhana of music. I have been using, but how to use the same for the clients in need, special needs. You will be really surprised how nicely you can make use of all these elements for a therapeutic purpose. So we need to know the dynamics of music and holistic health and how Karnatak music in different forms with different techniques, which can be used as therapeutic techniques for uh, to consider to use Karnatak music as a therapeutic intervention. <coughs> First slide. Sujata. Sujata. Can I have the PPT, please? Yeah, I'm putting that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I will start. Were, were you able to see? No. no. Okay. Let me share my yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll uh, share. Either. Now you are able to see? Yeah, I'm able to see. Yeah, okay. Yes, the first one you can show more. Yeah. Next one. Is it okay? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Next one, you can start. All of us, we know that music brings happiness, joy, serenity of mind, or calmness, and it is very meditative. It is very, you know, uh, we can forget everything. It reduces our anxiety, tension, and stress. All these uh, elements we know that is the holistic therapeutic value and we have different types of music we have temple music folk music wedding celebration we have music grief of bereavement or since see i told you music is there in all events of our life and indian classical music as i already explained to you it has a lot of vitality to bring calmness it, read, it increases the level of consciousness by taking us to the alpha and beta waves. And it is the best means of performing Nada Yoga. Nada Yoga, there are two types of Nada Yoga, Ahata Nada and Anahata Nada. Ahata Nada is what we are doing through music and it's with lots of its technicalities. It is for the outer purpose, but Nada Yoga is for the inner self. The only saints and sages and the Rushivaryas, Rushiva, Rushiva, they used to do Nada Yoga, Sadhana. And silently, they used to listen to the Omkara within themselves. It is for the liberation. So these two types of um, Ahata and Anahata Nada are there. And uh, we have already known that our uh, 
the great contributors of Karnatak music like Tyagaraja, Muthuswami Dikshitar, Shama Shastri, and many more, they did a lot of miracles through music. We know that Dikshitar brought rain by singing Amrita Varshini Raga, and uh, he cured stomach ache by composing a Brihaspati composition, Navagraha composition for the, you know, to cure uh, stomach ache for his devotee, Tambiyappan. So bringing back life, Tyagaraja sang Najiva Dharam. He brought life to one, the dead person in a temple. So we know that the, I mean, music has got a curative element in the, when we study the history, because all the composers were Devi Opasakas or uh, uh, some other deities or Radhakas, and they knew astrology, they knew, they were great Sanskrit scholars. They knew all the techniques, you know, to use music as a curing, you know, healing ailment, healing, healing element, healing medium for those who are in need. So music, it's, it is said that dhyana is equivalent to crores of japa. Laya yoga is equivalent to crores of dhyana. Gana is equal to crores of laya. So Gana stands highest among all the this thing, you know, music, it stands high. So Indian music is diversified in its culture, language, tradition, and religious practices. And we all, all of us, we know that each, you know, in India, each, I mean, each village has got its own uh, musical form, you know, based upon their language, tradition, and religious practices. And uh, uh, there is one point here, music therapy has to be client-based, based on geographical location, religion, language, and self-interest of the client. Next. Next slide, yeah. So we know this trinity, ML Vasant Kumari, Subbalakshmi, and DK Patamal, who were, you know, very great uh, exponents of Carnatic music. And Carnatic, there are two types of Indian music, Carnatic music and Hindustani music. Carnatic music prevails in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and Karnataka. There are two types, two forms of learning, Nirupana and Manodharma. From here, the technicalities will start. Next one. See, Nirupana is learning an item, starting from Sarale Verse to compositions. Purandara Dasa has composed lots of Nirupanam Sangeeta. We know we have Sarale Verse, Janti Verse, Tarastai, Mandrastai, Alankaras, 35 types of Talas, Pillari Gites, <coughs> Sanchari Gites, and Sarajates, Padavarana, Tanavarana, Attathalavaranas, the compositions of Saint Tyagaraja, Muthaswami Dikshitar, Shama Shastris, these are all the Kritis. And we have wide Dasa Sahitya composed by Purandara Dasa, Kanaka Dasa, Gopala Dasa, Vadiraja, Vyasaraya. These are all called Devarnama and Kirtanas. We have Vachana Sahitya contributed by the great contributors Basavanna, Akkamaha Devi, Allama Prabhu, many more. So major portions of Karnataka music, Kritis are both Madhyamakala, that is medium speed, and Vilambakala, slow speed. And we have structure in that, Pallavi, Anupallavi, and Charana. Manu Dharma, musical improvisation. We have Raga, Lapana, Nerval, Swaraprasthara, Tana, and Pallavi. See, these two forms are very, very important to understand the prevailing technicalities in Karnataka music. As well as then I will talk about how the same have been used for therapeutic purpose. Next. So what are the elements of therapy in Karnataka music? Number one is Omkara. Akara, Ukara, Makara. I told in the last session that the entire universe began with Omkara. So since Omkara is the base for our life, this is the first, the most effective therapeutic element in Karnataka music. 
and even in hindustani omkara stands really first then the swara swara is something that is pleasing to the ear we have sapta swaras and and we have 72 melakarta ragas melakarta ragas they are they have seven swaras both in arohana and avarohana we have a scale in called arohana and avarohana avarohana is sarigama padani ascending order avarohana is descending order sanidapa magari so if we have seven swaras both in arohana and avarohana they are called janaka or sampurna ragas we have shruti i told you we have five elements shruti raga taala madhurya then uh, swaras we have five elements in in the carnatic music which we use as therapeutic elements the basic therapeutic elements what is shruti it is a sound with systematic vibration melodious pleasing and clearly audible to the ear and the pitch no it varies number of vibrations increase when pitch increases pitch varies for male and female lower pitch yields more therapeutic value listening to tanpura itself makes mind very calm and meditative you can try you just you can switch on to the tambura if you do not have tambura at least in your mobile you can you know in include that app you can add that app of tanpura and you can keep it in c shruti c or c dot it is so therapeutic and the let the tempo be very very slow you can you really find it is so soothing it is so meditative it is so calm so whenever we do therapy normally we use lower pitch depending upon the client's problem and depending upon the client's interest also if we do raga therapy normally i do it in very low pitch it will have very very meditative impact i can demonstrate maybe in another session because one hour today i have to explain the whole concept next yeah what is raga raga is group of swaras it is systematic arrangement of swaras in an octave ragas the ragas themselves do not have its own identity because a permutation combination of swaras constitute ragas these ragas are based on different types of swaras we have uh, varieties of swaras shadja and panchama are called prakriti swaras they do not have any they are constant they do not have any variations rigam dhani rishabha gandhara madhyama daivata nishada these five swaras <coughs> they are called vikruti swaras they have various uh, you know variations which the combinations of which make raga therapeutic ragas are based on navarasas we have nine emotions shringara love veera valor karuna compassion hasya humor bhibatsa disgust bhayanaka fear raudra anger adbhuta wonder wonder shanta peace these therapeutic qualities of ragas can be traced in ancient texts and scriptures also classification of melodies masculine feminine and neutral all are also there some ragas were called feminine some ragas were called it was there in the previous scriptures then very important element is we have apparent uses of ragas we have six yeah we have six varieties of you know elements which are very very important to make music therapeutic number 1 is janti jaru datu gamaka birka jeevaswara i'll just sing in you know, i'll show you how it will come pa 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 da 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 ni 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 sa 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 ni ni sa sa ri ri sa sa ni ri ni sa da da ni ni sa da da ni ni sa sa ri pa pa da da ni ni sa sa ri ri ga ga ri ri sa ni 
ಜಂಟಿ ಜಾರು ಮಾರಿ ಪ್ರೇ ಜಾರು ದಾಟು ಸಮಗ ಮರಿ ಗರಿ ಪ ಮಪ ಗ ಮ ಗ ದ ಪ ದ ಮಪ ಮನಿ ದ ನಿ ಬ ದ ಮಪ ಗಮಕ ಗಮಕ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೋ ಯು ನೋ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಸಮ್ ರಾಗಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ರಿಚ್ ಇನ್ ಗಮಕಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹನುಮತ್ ಓಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಭೈರವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಟು ರಾಗ ಬಿರ್ಕ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಗಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ಸರಿ ಗಮ ಬದನಿ ಸರಿ ಗಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ಗಮಗ ಜೀವಸ್ಪರ ಈಚ್ ರಾಗ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಯುನೀಕ್ ದ ಯುನೀಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹೈಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಜೀವಸ್ಪರ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ತೋಡಿ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈಂಗ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ದಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ವರಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸವೆನ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ವರಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ರೆವಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಶಿವಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಸೊ ದ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ವರ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ ಟು ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಥ್ರೂ ಶಂಕರಾಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೇಸಸ್ the beauty the glory of indian music lies here because originally the origin itself is very very divine and very religious more than religious i can say it is more divine more spiritual if we understand the this element definitely we can understand the therapeutic elements why the swaras are therapeutic why the intricacies of the carnatic music which have been used to intensify the quality of carnatic music same jeeva same jeeva uh, you know the core essence of carnatic music whatever i have explained janti jaru datu gamaka birka jeevaswara the, these things we have been using as therapeutic elements i am i just gave you an example of how i we, we teach how we administer for a client with autism our audibility is not there clarity of speech is not there we start from omkara so we will involve the mother also then we will start doing the omkara and then janti sa sa re re it will be a game for them through play we make them to understand we are using the music medium with lot of unconditional love 
and acceptance and and go to their level i can't i can't sing alapana in front of the child i must understand the child's need supposing i start doing you know the janti sa 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 ri 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 ga 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 ma 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 simple exercise they will start doing they will then sama ga ma ri pa ma pa ga da pa da you don't believe clarity of speech will improve very very fast by using these uh, swaras then uh, if 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 i want to make them calm i i'll use very simple ragas you know which are very very serene then i use more of jaru supposing i take kannada raga sari ga ma da ni sa sari ba ma pa ga ma ri sa i will teach one bhajan in kannada raga i'll teach bhajan in one darbari kannada raga very simple which will make them very very calm they'll start enjoying they'll i'm telling you hyperactivity children with autism and all other related disorders whether it is attention deficit or uh, some other uh, problem they'll become so calm they will become so focused the, the sitting tolerance and the eye contact will improve within few months Ch a child who was who used to jump on the sofa i started teaching the mother i started singing let the child keep on listening and they will be listening they will have extraordinary ability so they will be listening they would have caught you know they would have understood they would they would have caught the you know all the nuances the next class the child will be asking for the video or the audio whatever i, I give the child will imitate uh, uh, after few sessions they will sing so well they will sit for 40 minutes in the class same techniques therapeutic elements what are all purandara dasa is so great all these things have been given by purandara dasa who is the father of carnatic music see the original the underlying the divine therapeutic healing elements are already there we are excavating now we are exploring now we thought it is for learning and it is okay we need to learn in a systematic way we need to understand the you know the high standard of quality of music that is okay but when we want to explore the deeper elements deeper dimensions of carnatic music this is what i have found out because i told you in the first class only i was the first client for music therapy in my own life i used to practice all these uh, janti jaru dhatu in the early morning hours i got asthma cured in 30 years no asthma attack and even now my voice at least you know with god's grace i can sing at, at least 50% you know of this thing with bhavam and uh, shuddha ragam and everything with talam it is a boon the sadhana through sadhana and through the application of the psychology and the spiritual uh, background i could find all these elements as therapeutic healing agents and the practical application are showing significant results what else you know because and even the scriptures say that all the ragas all the swaras you know they were used as uh, therapeutic elements in olden days also it was it's already there tyagaraja highlights many of the therapeutic uh, elements in his compositions thank you next one so we have rhythm and thala rhythm is rhythm is an essential component of all forms of music the importance of its uh, therapy uh, you know it's very very high and uh, this the rhythm and thala in the next session my husband will uh, definitely he will deal with in the, in detail rhythm is also very very important as a therapeutic uh, measure and the meaning also meaning of the composition if we explain to them for example i teach small small bhajans to all these children with special needs i will explain the structure of the deity for example anjaneya a few words about anjaneya saraswati any god and i will ask, ask, ask them to visualize and start singing that really makes a lot of difference they sing with so much of devotion and you know involvement 
so that uh, the positive divine vibrations which they experience it, it definitely has a healing impact on the holistic health of any of any of us melody is very important expressive singing with pleasant notes melody is music is nothing but an expression of our inner self so we can express our feelings emotions sensations and moods depending upon all these things we can de design the module of music therapy next one see whatever all these elements i explained to all of you i have experienced as carnatic music from holistic health point of view i all i always enjoyed i started learning when i was 3 years old since 65 years i have been singing there is not even a single day without singing so it always gives me joy and bliss and i enjoy the beauty intrinsic technicalities and nuances of raga and taala Uh, i can appreciate the speciality of each raga alapana music improvisation raga alapana nerval swaraprastara taana pallavi calculations permutations and combinations it has given me lot of alertness and and i can experience the coordination between my body and mind and practice of basic lessons this one i experimented uh, in the last class i think i shared with all of you i have i have dealt with uh, two stroke patients uh, paralysis stroke definitely it has improved in their uh, you know speech memory and coordination between the nervous system and the body movements i have i have experienced myself and have seen the you know same uh, positive changes in the patients also then practice basic lessons akara ikara ukara amkara it really makes the voice very stable melodious with high clarity in singing and for me i told you asthma got cured stretching of each swara for a long time it improves lungs capacity and definitely it has given lot of improvement in concentration and memory power next one it has given me lot of uh, immunity music has given an immense immunity more calmness patience empathy loving nature positive nature a shift from subjectivity to subjectivity to objectivity i have experienced you know i have got the, those insights but how to be objective so with with an objective outlook i have evaluated myself and i have evaluated my clients i have been evaluating my clients through objectivity and also through the feedback i get from the parents i can find the impact of carnatic music in the highest effective manner and definitely we know that it is meditation music is nothing but meditation and it brings inner silence and the because of all the you know uh, com, what do you say like the combination of counseling social work then psychology background spiritual background and music i could make a very tasty dish holistic health and music that's the you know uh, uh, what what uh, all ingredients together we could evolve a very very important need based you know technique of music therapy it has broadened horizon of love and relationships it has given a strong foot for spiritual growth next yeah chanting of om you you can ask me supposing i don't know music how i can use nada yoga number one is just chant omkara most of you might be already doing it omkara for 21 times it induces positive vibrations throughout the body and mind it purifies our body by detoxification cleans out all the harmful toxins and keeps it fresh and clean it brings tranquility of mind helps us to connect to our inner self it controls emotions with equilibrium state of mind and objectivity the best medium to overcome stress and relax totally is chanting of omkara so wherever i go and conduct workshops you know they cannot all of them they say that ma'am you know music you can experience what about us a simple form of 
you know, um, therapy, he is chanting of Omkara. Next. Yes. Voice culture exercises Akara, Ikara, Ukara, Amkara. You see, non-musically, how it affects. It increases in lungs capacity. Appetite will be more. If I sing for one hour, I think many of you who know music, you agree with me. You will feel very hungry. If you practice real sadhana for one hour or two hours, definitely you feel hungry. Better immunity towards respiratory health issues. This definitely I can write it and give. Start doing exercise of Omkara or if you are a, if you have learnt music, start exercising with the basic lessons of Karnatak music. Definitely you will find that your respiratory immunity will be definitely high. And you will have a lot of concentration because you need to sing for one hour means you need to prepare yourself and you need to remember all whatever in sequence, what you need to sing, how you have to present with a lot of melody, all you will be very alert also. Memory power will be more, you will be very calm, self-discipline. This is very important what I have experienced because, you know, we have to adjust to the we are so many artists being a main artist when we do a concert first time we will be sitting on the stage we would not have done any rehearsals with other artists we will be sitting on the stage we have we have planned we have chalked out our own plans for singing on that day this varana this ganapati song then uh, you know the uh, my, my, this one major raga and minor raga sub by say you know all tukada items lost like we would have done in a sequence. And I do one Svara Prastara, then the violin will play, the Mridangam will be playing. So much alertness, discipline. We should not miss Tala. We should not go to other Ragas. So many processes will be taking place simultaneously without our knowledge. So beautiful. That's the beauty of uh, music because... I am thinking, I am not aware that uh, this process is taking place. I am not at all aware. Why many musicians lived so happily for so many years? We have been seeing so many examples are there in Karnatak music or Hindustani music. Whether 80 or 90, they will be very healthy and they will be singing even at that age. Two hours, three hours. How they can do? Because it, it would have already brought an inner discipline within themselves by just surrendering themselves to the divine art of music and doing the sadhana. That's all. So beautiful, such a wonderful uh, medium for both, you know, for both materialistic gains as well as the gain of the inner self. The, that is the beauty of this uh, art. It promotes positive thinking, optimistic attitude, ability to ensure and face the challenges of life will improve. This also invariably, I think many of you will agree with me. Music will give really a strong energy, positive energy to endure and to face it and to accept life as it comes and to be very positive and to connect your inner self to the divine, through the divine art of music. Next. What significant changes I have found with... Uh, the specially challenged individuals, singing Saptaswaras in Omkara, stretching for a long time, Akara, Ikara, Ukara, Makara, then Sanskrit shlokas I have been teaching, then bhajans, kirtanas, devotional music, all these, you know, uh, and I, we have been teaching light music, folk music, film songs also sometimes. We are using music in different forms to cater to the needs of individuals with special challenges. Lot of significant changes we have found. I think we have two more. Next one. Yeah. So what we have uh, found on the clients is calmness, joy, sitting tolerance, restlessness will come down. They will become very calm and uh, serene and sitting tolerance has improved. Then concentration, memory power, then uh, social interaction, communication skills, clarity of speech, then what leadership quality and uh, 
uh, concentration and memory power and improvement in their scholastic growth. Even in schools, their, their academic performance has increased a lot. The, all these are positive changes I have found in normal children who are learning music because I create an awareness about what is music, why they need to learn music, what are all the benefits they gain through learning music. If I create an awareness, definitely it has got an added impact on the children who learn music. On special children, as already I have told you, we have been dealing with many, many types of uh, individuals with lots of physical, psychological, social, spiritual challenges. And all these challenges, definitely I cannot say that we can, we can cure any disease, but we can increase their quality of life, which will give a lot of immunity to them to face the challenge. And definitely the intensity of the problem will come down. So with these words, I conclude here. And I, if there are any questions, you can ask me. Anybody having any question, please ask on this session. Please unmute and ask question. If there are no questions, then, um, you know, we, we would really say uh, thanks to Dr. Minakshi and then invite uh, Rashmi yeah. for her next session. Thank you so much. Yes. Madam, it was very nice and we really understand even people, those who do not know music, they can still do Omkara to really get the uh, yes, calmness yes. and then positive attitude and yes, all those yes. stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for giving an opportunity. Thank mm -hmm. you all. Thank you. So, Rashmi, uh, you can get started. Um, for some of the people, those who come uh, join a little late, Rashmi is going to be the, um, the next uh, speaker, and she's going to touch upon music as an art and science. And she's been a student of uh, Dr. Meenakshi, and she's been associated with the last uh, 13 years related to music and music therapy. And let's hear from her what she has to say on this. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Namaste one and all. Mm -hmm. First of all, thank you to Minakshi Aunty for all the able guidance and support I've been getting from all these years. It is through her guidance, support, blessings and wishes that I am what I am today. Thank you, uh, Sujata ma'am, for this uh, giving this wonderful opportunity to present on music as an art and science today. Uh, can I have my PPT ma'am? Yeah. Give me a minute, I'm just sharing. Sure. You're able to see now? Ah, uh, no, ma'am, I'm not able to see my PPT. Maybe I have to close the other one just a minute. Shall I? Is it okay? No, ma'am, I'm still unable to see my PPT. Uh, probably if you can enable my screen sharing, I'll, I'll be able to 
maybe yeah you are not now it should be okay all participants you are all able to see you are able to see now Okay. Yeah, yeah, stop sharing. Now you can share, uh, Rashmi. I have started sharing, ma'am. Okay, good. Is it visible? Let me check. Yeah, yeah, you are seeing. Yeah, we are seeing. Correct. Okay. You are able to see? Yes, ma'am. I'm able to see my slides. Did you? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Uh, the topic for today that I'll be sharing my little knowledge with all of you is music as an art and science. So, <clears throat> this is as per my experience and feelings that what I've noted down a few points and I would want to share with you all. Music is a mixture of art and science. Probably all, all of you will agree with this point. Art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. This also includes other forms of art where creative thinking is involved. Art is any human performance that is an expression of emotions and feelings. Art is a representation of the times when it is made. Music is more of an art than just cultural activity. It is one of the most important art forms as it appeals everyone. Music is a unique art as it connects people from different social, cultural and ethnical backgrounds. People use music to express their feelings and also to mark important events. Music lets people express themselves in each and every way. It is a universal art form that we come across on a daily basis. Music is not just singing. It involves various aspects to attract many listeners, which is why music is an art as it invokes emotions. Music does much more than it makes us laugh and cry, makes us dance and have magical feelings. Music is an essential to many people as we listen to music all the time because music is a companion which not only really brings us joy, it motivates us, helps us to alleviate our worries, which is an extraordinary feature of music. Music is a unique art which facilitates deeply emotional experience. It also alters our perceptions and consciousness including blissful feelings hence music is more than just an art form of entertainment but an art <clears throat> music is an ancient art form in india the origin of music indeed sound itself is straight back to the origin of the universe according to hindu mythology the first ever sound is the nada brahma Brahma has sound which pervades the entire universe. It is the purest sound in the universe and is believed to be unstruck. Another myth associates the origin of sound with the Tandava of Shiva and Omkar. It is said that sage Narada then introduced the art of music to earth from heaven. Like dance, origin of music in India was in devotional songs and was restricted to religious and ritualistic purposes and was mainly used in temples only. This then developed in association with folk music and other musical forms of India and gradually de derived its own musical characteristics. <clears throat> music in ancient India. The history of music in India can be traced back to the Vedic times. The concept of Nada Brahma was prevalent in the Vedic ages. All organized music traces its origin back to the Samveda, which contains the earliest known form of organized music. 
The earliest raga owes its origin to the Samaveda. During the late Vedic period, music prevailed in the form called Sam Samagana, which was purely a chanting of the verses in musical patterns. After that, music changed its course a little bit. The epics were narrated in musical tones called Jatigan. Between the 2nd to the 7th century AD, a form of music called Prabandh Sangeet, written in Sanskrit, became very popular. This form gave rise to a simpler form called Dhruvapad, which used Hindi as the medium. The first reference to music was made by Panini in 500 BC, and the first reference to musical theory is found in Rik Pratikshya in 400 BC. Bharata's Natya Shastra contains several chapters on music, which was probably the first clear written work on music that has divided music into octaves and 22 keys. The next important work on music is Dhatilan that also mentions the existence of 22 Shrutis per octave. According to ancient notion, only these 22 Shrutis can be made by the human beings. Two other important works written during the period were Brihad Deshi, written by Matanga in 19th century AD, which attempts to define Raga and Sangeeta Markanda, written by Narada in 11th century AD, which enumerates 93 Ragas and classifies them into masculine and feminine species. Music in Medieval India In the medieval period, the nature of Indian music underwent a change due to the impact of mus Muslim influence. At this time, Indian music slowly started branching off into the two distinct forms of Hindustani and Carnatic music. These two traditions of music started to diverge only around 14th century AD. The Persian influence brought a substantial change in the northern style of Indian music. In the 15th century AD, the devotional Dhruvapad transformed into the Drupad or classical form of singing. The Khayal developed a new form of singing in the 18th century AD. Carnatic classical or Kriti is mainly based on Sahitya or the lyric oriented, while Hindustani music emphasizes on the musical structure. Hindustani music adopted a scale of Shuddha Swara Saptaka or octave of natural notes, while Carnatic music retains the style of traditional octave. Both Hindustani and Carnatic music express great assimilative power, also absorbing folk tunes and regional characteristics as well as elevating many of these tunes to the status of ragas. Thus, these two systems of music have mutually influenced each other. Music in modern India With the advent of the British in India, the court arts underwent a decline. Since most of the Nawabs and noblemen lost their wealth and did not have the rewards to lavish on performers, most of the musicians had to move over to other occupations. A few Kharanas did however manage to survive and continued. However, on the whole, Indian music took a backseat and interest and resources to sustain this art started to fade. A parallel development that gradually started forming at this time was that newer forms of media were now emerging. Thus, with the advent of television, radio, etc., Western influences started creeping into Indian music. There was a spread of popular or pop music and this trend increases with the spread of cinema. Classical music too started being exported out of the country in the 60s and an experiment of combining Western music with the Indian classical form also took place. This gave rise to what is popularly referred to as fusion music. In the 70s and 80s, disco and pop music entered the Indian musical scene. The, 19, the 90s further popularized the pop trend among Indian audiences. With the further spread of information technology and an increasingly global world, we see a host of musical forms existing in contemporary India, rock, hip hop, jazz, etc. Apart from these Western forms of music, traditional forms of Indian music such as Khayal, Ghazal, Geet, Chumri, Khawali, etc. also find place in the contemporary music. Bhajans and Kirtans, which form a separate stream of religious songs, are also quite widely sung across the country. During all this historical development of music in India, folk music continued to keep its existence side by side classical music.
music and different art forms um, music as a create here i have quoted music as creative art how it plays a role in music teaching and learning what are the creative art uh, carriers in music music as expressive art music as performing art and another form of music that is music therapy first let me go with the creative art creativity in music refers to the divergent and convergent thought processes enacted both in solo and in group that lead to musical products that are both novel and useful within specific socio cultural contexts manifested by the way of specific modes of musicianship or combinations of modes that can include but are not limited to the following improvisation composition performance analysis and listening music can ignite and surge creativity by leaps and bounds brain cells get activated and strive to be more creative and ingenious when one endeavors to strike a chord musical improvisation is a higher cognitive process which pushes the brain to open up creating a higher state of awareness and consciousness this is sometimes better experienced while playing instrumental music 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 is a creative art plays a huge role in music learning and teaching music learning comes easy to some of them while others have to put in lot uh, extra effort after a certain stage of awareness and discovery the process becomes effortless if we understand what our mind enjoy the best the learning experience become pleasurable educational institutes are trying to incorporate the art of learning through music as well as it has proven successful over the long term in several ways the world is at the feet of music music teaching music teaching involves in incorporating various method by teachers to enhance creativity levels in children as auntie was uh, mentioning all these with her pre, uh, ppt how we uh, music teaching how it you know, give an emphasis to more learning also we have as we have to teach we have to learn more so uh, we incorporate various methods in teaching based on the need of the client music also enhances creativity levels in teachers that is what i mentioned now there are various methods of teaching children which engages their body and mind through a mixture of singing dancing acting using body parts as instruments use of percussion instruments etc uh, i'll uh, show a small technique what i use in the sessions uh, involving our uh, body parts as instruments so firstly i would take clap snap and then tap on your lap so um if at all the child comes to us who is not musically inclined or uh, who has no prior knowledge in music but still we have to help them through music so the tala we can it's not about only uh, putting the tala as it is we can use our own creative methods wherein uh i can do sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa so it is a different way of using your body parts as instruments along with your singing where um, it enhances your creativity you have to concentrate more because with one swara you are clapping with one swara you are snapping with one swara you are tapping so it includes the whole of your brain uh, along with physical psychological and also your mouth uh, you have to coordinate more music as a creative arts give rise to many careers in music some of which have been listed below sorry singer songwriter composer dj audio or sound engineer sound production theater instrumentalist music therapist uh, you can give a uh, huge list now where uh, you'll be music teacher therapist so so many things you can do along with music or you can sing music for yourself music as an expressive art music offers an excellent medium of expression to convey our thoughts feelings and emotions music as an expressive art form 
constitutes an integral part of a child's development and provide enormous cognitive and personal benefits, enhancing communication skills and building confidence and self-esteem. Here I want to mention the child who has been exposed or given training in music from when they are in the womb, that is the prenatal stage when the music is induced into them through the mother, their developmental stages in life, the way they develop, the way they uh, react, the way they respond, the way they are uh, behaving, the amount of patience they have, what not, the qualities of the child, the qualities of the baby from prenatal and the recognition of voices, all that happens so nicely we have experienced you know uh, by you know giving music therapy sessions to the um, pregnant women from then on we develop the connection with the baby as well as soon as we speak or sing something the child immediately turns to us and looks at us identifies our voice and the behavior the total personality of the child is different compared to those who have not been I mean, exposed to music. A broad musical education encourages child to develop intrinsic skills such as ability, ability to work hard, concentrate, be self-disciplined and to understand that improvement and excellence comes with practice, hard work and teamwork. Which is more expressive, voice? instrument or a combination of voice and instruments depends on listeners mood time place culture etc music as a performing art music is an art form which combines pitch rhythm and dynamics to create sound it can be performed using a variety of instruments and styles and is divided into various genres as an art form, music can occur in live or recorded formats and can be planned and improvised. Music is perhaps the most universal of the performing arts and is found in every society. Music often as an integral acts as an integral part of other performing art forms and other domains of intangible cultural heritage, including rituals, festive events, or oral traditions. As Mam was uh, explaining or telling that whether it is a joyful event or a sad event whether it is any event music is an integral part of our life it can be found in the most diverse context sacred or profane classical or popular closely connected to the work or entertainment there may also be a political or economic dimension to music it can recount a community's history sing the praises of powerful peers person and play a key role in economic transactions here uh, singing uh, in the praises of a powerful person so as we see when there is t20 or when we see there is some match that is going on uh, people create songs regarding that and the ads advertisements are generated that way so we are praising you know, our country, we are encouraging them to perform well. That is an example. The occasions on which music is performed are just as varied. Marriages, funerals, rituals, initiations, festivities, all kind of entertainment as well as many other social functions. Music, voice and instrument play a predominant role in various performing arts such as drama, theater, film, dance, opera, etc. where an artist expresses using his own face, body and presence. Another form of uh, music as an art is music therapy. It is an another branch of music which we are all focusing on for therapeutic intervention which is a health perspective which has been gaining a lot of potential. Music therapy can be defined as a type of expressive art therapy that uses organized sounds or music within a client and therapist relationship, enabling to establish non-musical, that is physical, social or psychological goals through music. So here uh, I take an end um, with music as an art. 
So whatever questions anybody has, you can just uh, keep it aside. I'll take music as science now and the different branches of sciences. I'll just quickly grow, go through my PPT so that we have enough time for discussion later. Science of music. Science is the concerted human effort to understand or to understand better the history of the natural world and how the natural world works with observable physical evidence as the basis of that understanding. Although music is considered as one of the major fine arts, it is an interdisciplinary science as well. Here, we would like to bring out the science of music and establish the connection between music and physical psychological, social, neurological and spiritual sciences, understanding the correlation will give a clear idea about the therapeutic elements in Indian music. The properties of Indian music, especially Carnatic music, according to R.K. Parshri Kantan, a veteran Carnatic music are spirituality, religion, philosophy, logic, common sense and sensory impressions, spans the entire gamut of origin, or organic sensation, sense perception, perceptual conceptuation, reasoning, judgment, and spiritual realization. Indian music, therefore, is a refined and cultured style system of the music, most comprehensive kind. It encompasses all the aspects by which the ultimate can be realized. Indian music is both an ideal and an instrument towards reaching that goal. It is therefore both theory and experience. Music is not merely a structure of tone with varied permutation and combination. It is pure spiritual in nature. It's breadth of vision, he says. Spiritual science is the most important among all. The essence of Indian music is to offer this spiritual experience. It covers the entire sphere of first personality development, such as physical, psychological, social and spiritual dimensions. Music and physiology or music and physics. <clears throat> One of the most fundamental of all scientific disciplines, the main goal of physics is to understand how mature behaves in the matter behaves in the universe. It is the study of matter, its motion and behavior through space and time. Sound is nothing but a wave. The different types of waves include longitudinal, mechanical and pressure waves. Sound waves need a medium such as air or water to travel. The primary difference between music and noise is that the former has a certain rhythm and frequency that makes it melodious, whereas the latter has frequency that does not follow any rhythm and that is not at all melodious. Music is a sound science a fascinating sound that pierces through people's oral perceptions and into the universe beyond musical compositions involve structure pattern repetition and other characteristic make that make music recognizable to the human ear all music emerges from the principles found in physics and math the beauty of the combination of these vibrations that lead to melody is evident from the variety of music instruments such as percussion instruments, string instruments or wind instruments. Music and physical health or physiology. Music is for everyone. Although it can be used therapeutically for people who have physical, emotional, social or cognitive defects, even those who are healthy can use music to relax, reduce stress, improve mood or to accompany exercise. There are no potential harmful or toxic effects. Just as physical exercise keep the body fit and active, music can rejuvenate the mind and keeps it lively. Our body has a balanced rhythmic pattern Vary it with rhythmic playing influence the mind and body accordingly. While slow rhythms that repeat are recognized to render peace and tranquility, faster and variable rhythms are associated with increased energy and activity. 
Working while listening to music has become an integral part of many professional arenas. It is observed that music enables to work with happiness and can reduce the strain caused by workload. The human body can be carried as a temple only if the right things are done to nurture and protect it. And music acts as a great accelerator of health and nourishment in this regard. Brain functions physically change in response to music. Music can also relieve muscle tension and tones produce the opposite result. It is often used to help rebuild physical patterning skills in rehabilitation clinics. The level of endorphins, natural flavors are increased while sing, listening to music and level of stress hormones are decreased. Uh, many people maybe would have, I mean, each and every one of us who is living today might have experienced this. Uh, while we are singing, we experience singing or listening to any sort of music or playing an instrument we experience this change in our emotional pattern whether we are depressed or going through a sad state or whether we are very happy for any thing we have music it will increase the uh, endorphin level where wherein many a times it when we have used it as a therapy we have noticed that people express that their pain is uh, it uh, alleviates their mood and the pain in their body is uh, decreasing or they are able to better give the uh, their for better they are able to better help in caregiving all that happens through music so what are the effects of musical practices on human body whether it is you are closing your eyes and listening to any sort of music or whether you are practicing it increases the breathing capacity or the lung capacity it is a natural breathing exercise so it there are practical example of chronic asthma being cured ma'am was explaining herself that her asthma was cured with music and many other clients who have come to us experience this their lung capacity increases they'll be able to sit for long they're able to sing for a long time uh, it is very calming and relaxing to the body it induces sound sleep the appetite increases playing instruments like veena violin guitar and drums brings muscular and neuro uh, neurological balance and coordination as i uh, just explained about an exercise here that is clap snap tap if you are playing an instrument even there we require a lot of coordination between the mind and body and the our uh, the way we move our hand the way we sway the way we have to hold the instrument all that is very important where we can generate beautiful music music promotes energy and activity Mm, for the children where uh, we have we have seen hyperactive you know how we can reduce the hyperactive level is by you know taking them into more rhythmic phase that is giving them more rhythm wherein their mm, uh, hyperactiveness gets calmed down and then inducing the slow rhythm to them which helps them in other uh, you know, non-musical goals. Music and psychology or psychological health. Psychology is a scientific study of the mind and behavior. It is a multifactorial discipline and includes many sub-faculties of study such as human development, sports, health, clinical, social behavior and cognitive processes. Music and human psychology are very closely interrelated. Music plays a highly effective impact on emotions, thinking and behavior patterns of the human psyche. Indian music is based on the Nava Rasas. Auntie was explaining about each Rasa that are how music invokes each Rasa in the body. Or nine emotions and musical patterns stir these emotions. 
Positive feeling and blissful experiences elevate man's mind towards total tranquility, joyful moods, relaxation and what not. Ragas, tunes, shruti, rhythm, content, all these elements of music are the basic crux of art in the human mind. Music and psychology aim to explain and understand musical behavior and experience including the process through which music is perceived, created, responded to and incorporated into everyday life. Musicology is the, the theoretical study of music. Music psychology can shed light on the non-psychological aspects of musicology and musical practice. Music therapy is one such branch that imbibes the principle of music into science. Recent music therapies have established the underlying influences of music on human psyche and how impactful music can be on the over psych overall psychological well-being of human. There is a certain fluidity about music which melts away stubbornness and rigidity underlying not only the physical movements of the limbs but also the mental processes of thinking and feeling. It is this inherent fluidity in music that has gone into the mask making of Sanskrit term for intonation nada which literally means to flow. This flow of music opined Copland forces to use our imagination. He is also of the view that this could be the reason for its being in a continued state of becoming. The musical process when synchronized with the mental process promises an elevated state of consciousness which the modern day neurologists would term as alpha and theta brainwave patterns. This is a state of harmony, a state of inner silence of causeless love and limited joy. It is also referred to as the healing state stated to the conscious level which is stated to be direct communication with the universal consciousness. Music and Neurology Apart from the psyche, music has a positive effect on patients suffering from brain injury with scientific evidence backing it. It can help in brain reduction, stress relief, memory improvement and recovery from in injuries. Here I would uh, like to mention a case that I dealt with. My mom was a speech therapist and so she would uh, deal with patients who are even uh, post-operative uh, aphasic. So what is that post-operative aphasic is post-operation that is brain operation or certain times it might be related to some physical operation as well wherein they lose or the speech clarity is completely uh, disrupted after the operation. So uh, one of the case I used to go with my mother is he had uh, like two clots in his brain wherein one was big and one was small. Due to his age factor, he was uh, 80 plus because of his age factor, the doctors mentioned that you know, he, uh, the only one clot can be removed, that is the bigger clot can be re removed and for the other clot, they, we can give the um, chemotherapy, radiotherapy and other uh, therapy sessions. Because of that removal of clot from his brain, he was aphasic ap after his op uh, operation. He was a very, very, you know, active person wherein he used to walk for kilometers a day, he used to go and meet with his friends, he used to have, a, you know, social connectivity in that way. Suddenly, when he lost his speech, he was very, you know, he was not very comfortable uh, to socially go you know, in the social gatherings, to mingle with people, to walk. He had lost that, you know, uh, balance in his uh, physical body also, wherein he wasn't able to walk for so much and even walking few steps from the room to hall or walking in the own house was a little difficult. So how I applied or used music here was for each and every moment that he used to hold his uh, walker and walk, for each moment I used to give one swara, sa, move one, sa, one step. So I used to tell him, sa, 
one step you have to come forward when i tell re you have to come one more step forward in this way when i gave seven swaras and also um in various patterns like when i used to tell sa sa he used to work right left right left in that way slowly um i was able to bring back his uh, rhythm or his speed of walking was a little improved day by day and he wasn't able to speak so through sign language he would try to uh, tell me what he's feeling about what i'm trying to do and slowly slowly like how auntie was mentioning a e u am the effects you know i tried to make him produce the sound he when he was trying to make, produce the sound he he was totally aphasic post operation so what happened to him was even to tell uh he didn't have that sound or the volume because he was a fake a face he used to only hus <sighs> that's what he was able to do when i you when i told him to do ah uh, he used to do <sighs> i used to tell him to hold um on his uh, stomach the belly below the belly button and press and then do <sighs> slowly slowly he could do ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. slowly it used to just increase ah uh, that way it was non musical but slowly 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 the sound increased then e i used to tell him to uh literally close his uh tooth and uh, make a hissing sound e that's what he could make slowly slowly e e e e that's what he could make and then slowly he could make a little prolonged version of e that's it and then o i told him to keep the lips uh, you know kissing his lips o in this way though he his strength was very low though his uh, you know the way he could pronounce or the, he was aphasic he used to listen to me because he wanted to get back to his social life he was missing all the social part of his life so o in that same way he used to hus whatever i used to tell him he used to just hus because that was the only sound he could he could process slowly 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 he could bring in some pronunciation like a e u in a very feeble voice and in a very broken voice and he was uh trying to express to his people of his house also through this small syllables a a o o he used to do that and he used to show the fan or he used to show his plate or anything with that sound and to give him food he used to ask with that sound so wherein i felt really happy the man who was totally aphasic at least with small syllables he is trying to explain and the people in his house who had no idea of how to handle him you know because of aphasia it would be very difficult for them also to handle so i taught him few expressions of how he has to show and how he has to produce sound for them to understand small small things so later on he could speak like with broken words and all um sadly after uh, in the event of covid he was not affected with covid or anything so at the covid time we lost him so this was the improvement that we could see at least i was happy in that way that i could help that person in his last uh, moments so music and sociology or social health music is a reflection of society culture philosophy human values and religion too indian culture is diversifying and indian music has so many varieties completely stemming from the local language lifestyle tradition and values music is central to cultural life and therefore also often perceived as central to social life dasa sahitya vachana sahitya lavani light music folk songs different forms of carnatic music highlight human values relating to individuals life social life communal harmony praise of gods and goddesses and goals of human existence many compositions are expressed in a language that is understood by all meaning content with melody and rhythm make the composition establish a deeper soulful connect 
Music helps fuel creativity that can spill over into scientific pursuits. Here, when I'm men mentioning about the language understood by all, though you understand the type of music that I'm singing or not, you will be connected to me when I am trying to, you know, connect with you all from heart to heart. I sing a song in that way and wherein you connect to me. Uh, I would like to sing a small composition here wherein uh, to show how uh, it makes you connect, you know, uh, irrespective of caste, religion, class, economic status or irrespective of geographical domain or anything. Oh, even experienced the lyrical connectivity you would have heard you would have understood the lyric and you would have even connected to me by that way so in this way irrespective of whatever we are uh, socially we get connected to music the effects of new sorry uh, claudia levy strauss said music holds the key to progress of various human disciplines Another expert says music developed as a part of life of people bound by its morals, ethics and also the course of living reflect the mind and moods of those times by R.K. Srikantan. Impact of music on social health. Those who sing or play instrument will develop good self-esteem and confidence. Music gives the ability for special social recognition. It enables to gain social status, respect, awards and titles at state, national and national levels. It becomes a platform to develop leadership qualities. It develops and intensified social communication skills. Friendship, broad outlook, love and compassion 
will become a part of a real artist. Charity and virtuous qualities become a natural consequence. Music crosses the boundary of caste, the class, religion, economic status, sex and geographical domain. The melody instills and energizes equality among all. It gives a sense of passing the culture of future generations irrespective of caste, creed and culture. Music practice increases concentration and memory power especially among children. The creative ability also increases. Hence, children's scholastic achievement finds good process, progress, that is excellence. Now, music and mathematics. You will get a lot of this music and mathematics from Ravi sir when he's going to explain about the rhythm therapy. But a small, you know, in a nutshell or like, you know, in a simple way, I would like to explain how music and mathematics are related. Music is a secret, secret exercise in arithmetic of the soul, unaware of its act of counting. Gottfried Lienzberg, philosopher and mathematician, quoted these words. Many great Greek and Indian philosophers have often correlated music and mathematics. So what connects music to mathematics? Indian music, especially Carnatic music, is un uniquely linked to thala or beats and swaras are distributed as per the thalas. There are seven thalas with jatis which consist, constitute 35 thalas. Each has a distinct set of beats. In normal practice, Adi Thala or seven beats, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Rupaka Thala has three beats, Khanda Chapu has five beats and Mishra Chapu has seven beats are in vogue and practice of the same requires application of mathematical skills. Like auntie was mentioning what we do with the special children through uh, this mathematics. So we will take one note wherein uh, we teach him sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa so then we would take sa sa ri ri so instead of one note or one swaram he has to do now two two swaram sa sa ri ri the tala pattern changes the swara pattern changes now we increase it by one more swara sa 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 ri 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 ga 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 Ma, ma, ma. and then increase to 10 until 10 swarams sa 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 ri 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 either with this kind of tala or with kind of clapping sa 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 ri 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 in that way till from one swaram to 10 swaram we make them practice wherein the uh, the tongue movements change the lip movements changes the way you pronounce changes so the speech clarity the articulation the way they uh, pronounce the may the way they um, um, speak all these changes and also the coordination between the body mind and the pronunciation all these three which uh, requires the coordination will improve The notes in Carnatic music are based on precise calculation, permutation and combination. The composition in these thalas are evenly distributed to bring in a rhythm. The beauty of connection between music and mathematics is clearly depicted in the beats used in Rudangam. Like I told you right, next when sir is going to give you a rhythm session, he will be also playing for you all Rudangam where he shows how you can use the mathematics and rhythm in that pattern. A personal learning music would automatically build the ability to grasp concepts of arithmetic. Several schools are exploring and extensively using music to enhance mathematical skills of students. As I told you, the application of music in the life of youngsters increases their creativity skills, the mathematical sense in them, the coordination in them and a lot more what not. Music and physics. One of the most fundamental of all scientific disciplines, the main goal of physics is to understand how matter behaves in the universe. It is the study of matter, its motion and behavior through space and time. 
Sound is nothing but a wave. The different types of waves include longitudinal, mechanical and pressure waves. Sound waves need a medium such as air or water to travel. The primary difference between music and noise is that the former has a certain rhythm and frequency that makes it melodious, whereas the latter has a frequency that does not follow any rhythm and thus is not at all melodious. Music is a science, a fascinating sound that pierces through people's oral perceptions and into the university beyond. Musical compositions involve structure, pattern, repetition and other characteristics that make them recognizable to the human ear. All music emerges from the principles found in physics and math. The beauty of combination of these three vibrations that lead to melody is evident from the variety of musical instruments such as percussion instrument, string instruments and wind instruments. Next, music and geography. Geography is a study of physical features of earth and its atmosphere and of human activity as they affect each other and the distribution of population, resources and political and economic activities. Music geography is a study of music production and consumption as a reflection of the landscape and geographical spaces surrounding it. Folk music was the first genre of music to be researched and analyzed by scholars due to its nature of fluid movement across regions. Folk music, when you take folk music, it keeps changing. It doesn't remain constant from each, you know, from, for each certain kilometers, the, there is a, you know, folk music uh, in its own way. Music and applied sciences. Botany, also called plant science, plant biology or Phytology is the science of plant life and a branch of biology. A botanist plant scientist is a scientist who specializes in this field. Few botanists have experimented with musical interventions on plants by playing different types of music in the fields. It comes as a pleasant surprise that plants also respond to the tunes of music correspondingly. Here, what I would like to mention is when um, uh, I used to, we used to grow plants in our uh, home space where we experienced this our, um, uh, very beauty of how plants also respond to music. When we are singing, when we have experimented with the plants that grow uh, through music induced to them or the other plants, it is so magical, you know, the plants who are, uh, where we have used to uh, the, give them the sounds and give them the music, you know, they sometimes you uh, experience a sway in the leaves. Sometimes, you know, you experience how the plant is growing so beautifully. So it is blooming so well, uh, unless compared to the other plant not exposed to music, even that that is blooming, but not as lively as this plant. So that we have experienced at uh, our house. Geology is the science concerned with solid earth, the rocks of which it can com uh, compose and the process by which they change over time. Geology can also include the study of solid features of any terrestrial planet or natural satellite such as Mars or the moon. Music has often inspired geolo geologists and vice versa. Music and astrology. Astrology most often consists of a system of horoscope purporting to explain aspects of a person's personality and predict future events in their life based on the position of the sun, moon and other celestial objects at that time of birth. Both Pythagoras and Pluto have said that universe is to be conceived as a musical instrument. Astrology and music are interrelated and both are used as remedial measures for handling problems. Music is a part of Sama Veda while astrology is an Upaveda and Vedanga. Music has been used as a medium for planetary afflictions since ancient times. The universe is called the first Nada Brahma or primordial sound as it was created from sound, Shabda itself. According to Indian scriptures, sound or Nada is God himself. Music and Ayurveda Music has been an age-old part of Ayurveda, the science of Indian indigenous medicine. 
Music therapy follows the principles that sound produce vibration that tend to move in space and in the process produce some healing effects in the body. The ancient method of sound therapy in the form of Vedic mantras are recited for specific regions of the body and is used to promote healing. Ayurveda helps to maintain the health of a person by keeping the individual's body, mind and spirit in perfect equilibrium with the nature. Music too helps to maintain and improve the emotional, physiological and psychological well-being of a person. One of the research papers published in International Journal of Ayurveda and Pharma Research 2016 shows how Indian classical music used as receptive music therapy improves ridoshic balance and cures major depressive depressions in pregnant women. According to Ayurveda, everything is composed of five elements, air, water, fire, earth and space. These elements from three doshas, vata, pitta and kapha, which are metabolic types. Music plays an important part in effectively balancing these doshas. I still have like three slides, probably there is time or I would uh, like to in my session. Ma'am is- You can uh, continue Rashmi. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So music and spirituality, this is what the ultimate goal or ultimatum of music, which everybody would expect. Uh, those who desire perfection in yoga may go for nada meditation having abandoned all thoughts and with a calm mind shankaracharya yoga taravali as quoted by tv sairam sir a message from his holiness sri ganapati sachidananda swamiji highlights how the mystery of evolution lies subtly em embedded in the seven notes of music Sa or Shadja represents Sagara, meaning evolution of life in the ocean or water. Ri or Rishabha represents the land creatures. Ga or Gandhara stands for Gaganachara, meaning flying creatures like birds. Ma or Madhyama represents Manava or man whose goal is and should be. Pa or Panchama representing Parama, Paramapada to seek refuge unto the almighty and modus operandi. Dha or Daivata representing dharma, righteousness, and Ni or Nishada representing nivruti, non-attachment and liberation. Music and spirituality are interlinked. They are two faces of a coin. It has been in evinced that all spiritual retreats, satsangs and the meditation camps are blended with suitable music in the background. The ultimate journey of the music is to travel through the body and connect to the soul. What is Atma? It is a state of mind in which existence, awareness and bliss is experienced. Every living creature is bestowed to be in a state of Ananda or bliss. But human beings, because of their total surrender to materialistic comfort, seek happiness in the outside world. All materialistic happiness is transitory, but the realization will not see the light of day unless human turns their attention inwards. Music elevates an artist to this beautiful state naturally and certain processes take place naturally for an artist without him being conscious of them. When a musician identifies himself with the vibration of melody, three processes take place simultaneously. Breathing exercises, that is, Pranayama, meditation and total concentration. Complete oneness among body, mind and soul. A blissful state of mind, realizing divinity within self. Promotes inner silence. Normally, all meditative retreats are blended with suitable music playing to elevate and intensify the divine peaceful atmosphere. There are various processes for the spiritual path to be followed like systematic yogic practice, meditation, satsangs, chanting of the divine hymn, silence, acquiring knowledge, etc. Gnana Marga, Karma Marga and Bhakti Marga are different parts for self-realization. But Nadu Pasani, practicing music as a penance is one of the most effective and easy paths for self-realization. Human life needs to be based on human values, playing roles effectively, live with contentment and be happy to make others happy. 
In this context, music has to be acknowledged as the anodyne towards a meaningful life. Music and economic status. The present society has been offering muse immense scope for the growth of music as a fine art. There is a lot of awareness about its importance as a relief from stress and challenges of this fast paced world. Music in diversified forms is being used by one and all to experience happiness, joy with full zeal and jest. Enormous opportunities are there to learn and perform, especially in cities and towns. Unlike the past, people can choose a career in music and make a living out of it. Besides this, many awards and accolades have been instituted at local, state and central government and private organizations too. These avenues motivates artists and in turn lead to the promotion of art as such. Plenty of music schools and colleges caters to needs of musical learners. An increasing number of artists seek music as their profession. For a sincere devoted artist, music undoubtedly gives an economic stability. So yeah, I come to the end of my PPT. Thank you uh, once again. Minakshi Aunty and Sujata ma'am for giving this opportunity. Anybody has any questions? Can please go ahead and ask me. Yeah, it was a, it was a very elaborate session on music as an art and science and you have really covered various aspects, uh, including geography up to economic status and uh, I think uh, it had a lot of clarity for the viewers also. Uh, any, anybody having any um, doubt or query, they can really ask you right now. You uh, Anybody having query, please unmute and then ask question to Rashmi. It is really a vast topic, ma'am, to cover. I had to just, we had to just, you know, uh, impress it. Mm. Yeah. So, if there are no questions, then probably you can reserve some of it for the next session. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Rashmi, and also the viewers. And uh, um, nice to really have uh, both Dr. Meenakshi and you to really have uh, covered uh, today's session. And uh, uh, have a nice evening. Thank you all. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all of you.